Hey Luke Kaser, and welcome back to the Cars Update. We got Cliff. Cliff is the premium character for this first act. If you want to check it out, link in the description below. But you know how to find it if you want to look for it. Yeah, it is now. And they're voiced. Did that entice you to want to watch it? I believe in you, Billy. And now your car is on fire. Joe! It was an honest mistake. I was being very honest when I touched those wires together by mistake. Son, you just don't have the touch. Except when it comes to touching wires together. Ha! Huh. What are you laughing at? Your car is on fire. At least he didn't connect the water hose to the air pump. That might have put out the fire. Joe! Hey, you! Does anyone know who that is? Look, Dad, they did let me into this game in a million years. Billy! You're a dull boy, Billy. What are we going to do now? I'll get a rental car while we go car shopping. Our insurance should cover it. Do you want me to give you a ride to the rental place? That's okay. I already called Lenny. He'll give me a ride. To the car rental place? Eventually. So what's the problem? He's going eventually. All right, Billy. Where are you? There's Billy. I have no idea if you'd be voiced or not. Maybe. I'm going to go with yes. Hey. I, I think I heard something. Hey, kid, you're not supposed to be hanging around here. Oh, come on, man. I'm bored, and you guys have air hoses and hydraulic jacks. The sign says, no horseplay. And the one over there says, employees must wash hands after using the bathroom, so I'm pretty sure signs don't have any actual authority here. Chase a troublemaker. Bart Carr's trouble. Hey. We're going to sell them to Mr. Somethingopolis. Billy goes to Gasso's, by the way. Which was the first prize? This day is as over as final. Panting. Uh, come on, kid. Stop running around. I'm supposed to chase off troublemakers. Do you always do what you're supposed to do? I, uh, suppose so? Devious laugh. This is going to be more fun than the last time I switched Millhouse's devices to Portuguese. Okay. Hey. So, let's get this straight, Billy. You're a teenager and you have all the teenager privileges like driver's license and power tools, right? I only have my learner's permit, but yes to the power tools. And you don't take advantage of those privileges to create mischief. Is I wrong? Yes, well, no, it's not technically wrong, but that's my point. Stick with me, Billy. With my schemes and your inability to think for yourself, we're going to have fun. Billy follow Bart's lead, and Bart personalized people's cars? Hey. All right. Hey, Mr. Uh, yeah. Are still wearing tattered pants? That was a fun morning of pranking, Billy. Go. Mrs. Lovejoy's car horn plays WAP. Go. Mrs. Lovejoy's car horn plays WAP. Grand Cooper Willie's lawnmower spits out so bubbles. And Dr. Hibbert's vanity plate says Quack Doc. Or maybe that's supposed to be Quack Doc. I've never felt this alive before. I want to be like this all the time. Hey, it's yourself, young grasshopper. You don't want to get a prolific prankster and avoid juvenile hall without taking it slow and steady. Save the moment. Yeah, well, it's not going to end well for you. I hate to say I told you so. Hey. There you is, Chief Wiggum. These automotive pranks have all the classic hallmarks of one Bartholomew J. Simpson. Okay, Bart, you're coming downtown for questioning. You got me dead to rights, Chief. Just let me hand this list of chores to my new friend, Billy. By your command, Sensei. Well, 
I wouldn't want you to get in trouble with your parents for shirking your chores. You'll be calling them from the station, by the way. They're still on speed dial, of course. So what happened, exactly? Why did he get chores? Billy run mischievous errands. Ah, okay. <laughs> Reports of car pranks keep pouring in, but I was sure you were behind them, Bart. I was here with you the whole time. It just doesn't feel right, but I can't argue with facts. By my estimation, you can't do anything with them. Say, Bart, what do you say to helping us out? You're a master prankster. Maybe you could tell us how this guy thinks and who he might be. You mean like Hannibal Lecter? Is that who you think is behind this? No, I meant I would be helping you the way Hannibal... Yes, yes, I think these pranks are being pulled by Hannibal Lecter. Filling out a report form. How many ends in Hannibal? It's two, Chief William. Count them two. Did you see me, Bard? I pulled off every prank on your list and it was the most exciting thing I've ever done in my life. You're a quick study to be sure, and I managed to get Wiggum off your trail, but I think you should lay low for a bit. No way! I'm bursting with ideas! I must prank now! Uh-oh, I think I created a mechanical monster, or at least a monstrous mechanic. Tampa was a professional car, so we're gonna get our first animation. It sounds like it anyway. We're not. Eventually, eventually we'll see the animations. Um, Billy? I think that last prank might have gone too far. Relax, Bart. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs or rear axles. He's breaking people's rear axles. Hey. At least he's not breaking people named Axel. You are in deep trouble, mister. It's going to take forever to clean the marshmallow fluff out of the airbag in Mother's car. And that smoke bomb nearly doubled the amount of smoke coming out of my car. And my Model A has been reduced to running like a Model C+. What have I done? I just wanted to feel something for once. Oh, you'll feel something all right, young man. The last of the justice system. Now, now, gentlemen. This is an impressionable young man. Impressionable, crafty, and lacking a father figure. I do have a dad. Lacking a father figure who is here right now. Come with me, young man. How would you like to join the young Springfield Republicans? Prepare for the future. And Mr. Burns prepare another disciple. So it's kind of like when Mr. Burns took in Bart as like a foster child or what was it again? Oh, well, there we go. The full walkthrough. For Billy. Now, obviously, I'm not done yet with said Billy. As I can find him. Let's see what we've got here. Tampa was a professional's car, which we've seen. Run mischievous errands, we've seen that as well. Hone his dullness, which is an eight hour quest. And then service an RC car, which is a second animation. So uh, once we get a chance to actually see him, and he's not hiding, we'll check out Hone His Dullness. Well, I think it might be stuck, because he's been following the same path back and forth for like three or four minutes now. Doing some kind of weird thing. So we're just going to put him on the quest and we'll just hide the buildings. Alright, so what we got going on here? He's thinking and there's a bird on his head. Yep, yep, just the just one bird. I'm not sure if maybe it'll be different birds or maybe different animals. Oh, he's thinking. That's new. About what, I'm not sure. But he thinks, and then we got the bird as well. Or maybe the bird's taking a break. There's the bird. 
cracking his head. And the second animation to wrap up this full walkthrough, service, and RC car. I don't know if we're getting it to work or not. He's not a very good mechanic, is he? I kind of had a bit of hope that we'd actually fix it, and he kind of does. If you call that fixing. He became an ultimate prankster in the end, and then Mr. Burns took him in. And that's basically how it ended. Animation-wise, he doesn't do anything in the episode that I'm aware of. He just is with his dad, and that was it. So obviously EA decided to make their own animations. So let me know down below, what do you think of Billy? He is kind of voiced, I think. A little bit anyway. I don't know if he's voiced by one of the main cast members or not. If he is, there doesn't appear to be any of the voice clips from the episode that I'm aware of either. But either way, free is free. Can't complain about that. And I will see you with the next prize. Move forward. Indy Cars Up. So thank you for so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.